This is a picture by Robert Morris, based on a photograph by Hans Namath of Jackson Pollock at work on a painting. Morris has doubled the image of Pollock painting and assembled it as a vertical diptych, the upper and lower panels appearing as inverted mirror images of one another. The picture is assembled out of four sections of aluminum sheeting, painted in the wax-based medium called encaustic. The blurry upper image was produced by heating the metal to melt the encaustic surface, causing the colors to run. There is faint stenciled lettering running up and down the edges. On the left, the inscription, monument, dead monument, ascends. On the right, the counter inscription descends, rush, life, rush. The letters evoke the look of postal labeling and industrial packaging, like an urgent Federal Express parcel stamped rush or a crate stamped monument. What tribute does this picture pay to Jackson Pollock, the man who was called the greatest American painter in the 20th century? Is Jackson Pollock seen here as a vital active figure or a dead monument? Did he bring painting to an end or inspire new departures? Is the mythic figure of the macho artist as heroic creator still a living force or an idea whose time has gone? Morris leaves these questions unanswered. He takes us back to the legendary origins of Pollock's compositional processes. Those moments when Pollock could say, when I am in my painting, there is pure harmony and easy give and take. When he could deny the accident in his painting and a life rushing toward death when he could answer the charge of Time Magazine that his painting was chaotic. No chaos, damn it, damned busy painting. Morris's picture takes us back to that time when Pollock's life rushed out in paint, but it refers us to it from a time when that life has hardened into a monument. What music does this picture offer? Is it a score, a script, or a sketch? A guide or a prompt to a performance? Rush, Life, Rush is a musical picture of Morris's picture, exploring the references and movements of this work and playing on the surfaces of its materials, its shapes, and its words.
damn it. Damn busy painting.